is Jared from Madewell. Uh, this morning we're talking about Screed Buddy. Uh, we've got a photo sent to us from one of our great customers, Nards Developments. Uh, and in here you'll see there is about 20 pipes there and in that industrial floor. This is a great photo to be able to show how hard that would have been to screed around those pipes and still get the super flat finish. Basically, Screed Buddy is a pipe indicator. You cut your pipes down to three to five mil below finished floor. They come in different sizes, uh, 80 mil, 100 mil, 65 mil, 50 mil. Basically, you cut down your laser level and mark, make a mark at five, three to five below finished floor. Have a pipe sleeve around it so you can trace around it, trace around it with a black texture and then take out the line uh, and then install these, put this slip over top of the pipe and duct tape around it just to make sure it doesn't come off during the pour and then screed and finish over the top of it. So you can hit, so this indicator here is about 35 mil. Uh, you can hit, you can screed over top of it, bull float over top of it, hit a power trowel at fairly high revolutions and you won't even knock the top off it. When the job is finished and, you're, and the plumber's ready to fit off, um, Stanley knife around the inside and then use an internal joiner. I believe Scree Buddy is one of the best products on the market right now. So in that particular photo, the distance of say the 20 pipes, 15 to 20 pipes, whatever's in that photo, um, there might be a meter between them, might be 1.5 between them, might actually be a lot less than that. So to actually be able to screed and finish around them, um, if you have a good hard think about it, is very difficult. You'd have to put screed lines down both sides or fascias, whatever you want to call them. And then the person would have to walk across the pipes, walk backwards with the pipes, screeding from side to side, which is the human element of that. It doesn't matter how good you are, um, you have to keep checking. But then the laser's already gone down the other end because the pour continues while you're slow. So then you have to stop, start, bring it back, which everyone knows the economy of scale says you, you don't bring that laser back too many times and, and good enough is just move on. Then you would have to come and pan with a small machine to be able to get in and around the pipes. Then there's a lot of hand work so I just think that photo is the prime example of, of how Screed Buddy, uh, there is no comparison to being able to finish a floor like that. The industry where it is right now is we don't have enough labour, we don't have enough trades. Uh, a lot of these um, volume builders especially are trying to get the house on the ground um, and then trying to move on to the next one. And if you think about the four other trades that follow that, that Screed Buddy help, so it helps the chippies, when they come to a flat floor and it's finished with no pipe sticking out of the ground, they can easily flick lines. Then they can grab their prefab frames and pull it across the slab and easily stand them up. And then you have the tiler who's always complaining because those wet areas are never right. But the tiler doesn't know about that until he comes to tile the job, which is down the road. And then he has to backtrack and yell at the builder and the builder has to yell at the concrete and it has to get rectified, which then stops the schedule, uh, slows it down. And the concreter. Um, First and foremost, to be able to put this slab down uh, as fast and as flat as possible um, helps him move on to the next job instead of having to come back and rectify the job. All concreters benefit for it. A lot of the concreters that walk through these doors are doing um, a wide range of projects, whether it's a, a polished uh, floor for internally where it has to be super flat. Obviously, you don't want to be having pipes when in that circumstances, so Screed Buddy comes in handy. House slab guys that have that are churn and burn and they have to get a tolerance level um, for Australian standards and then the builder can keep them moving on to the next one. It is one of those things where you need to just try it. Uh, once the concreter tries it, he won't go back to pipes. You'll never want to see another pipe again. Speak to your builder about it. A lot of this is the education process where someone will say, oh, it's just too hard, I need to speak to the builder. Well, I think it's worth talking to the builder to say, we can get it in faster, we can pump it faster, we can finish it flatter. The chippy can come in and do his job faster and the carpenters can stand it up and better and easier. The tiler has le less rectifications uh, with floor levelling issues. Uh, so I think presenting that to the builder uh, will help get Screed Buddy across the line for your next project. Where to purchase it, uh, you can call us directly or email uh, an inquiry form uh, at the office for Screed Buddy. They come in 20 packs or 100 packs. Uh, talk to the guys about um, some free samples. If you've got your socials, we can do a five tile ad. Get them to call me at the off, call us at the office, uh, and we can set you up.